This project is currently under development. All its assets, such as backgrounds, music, etc., are subject to change. This game is a work of fiction. Any references to re real people, organizations, or events are purely coincidental. Additionally, this game contains homosexuality and depictions of sexual acts, and therefore not intended for audiences under the age of 18. By selecting confirm, you hereby agree that you are of age and that Storm Singer Studios cannot be held responsible for any legal repercussions. Of course I confirm. I am definitely of age. Took me a second to actually hit that. Oh my gosh. Alright. So anyways, <laughs> welcome friends for a new project today. Another Storm Singer Studios project. As you can see, it's Morinatsu, or specifically, Homecoming Morinatsu Revisited. So basically this is a reimagining of uh, an older furry visual novel, Morinatsu, which I think came out like the early 2000s if I remember correctly. Somebody fact check me please. Uh, so yeah, so this is kind of a really cool reimagining, kind of using the similar assets and similar story to kind of have like a new idea, like a new, you know, revised kind of version of it. And uh, essentially reimagining, what am I saying? <laughs> I'm bad at this. I will say, uh, so before we start, um, I'm going to say that I actually played a little bit of this a while ago. This was, this was like an, I played like a very early build. Like, I think version, like, 2 or something like that. So, I'll admit, I did play a little bit of this before, but we're now at version 6.2, I think. And now that we're on 6.2, a lot has changed. <laughs> and I only went through, like, partially one route. So, this is still pretty blind to me. And, and I can't wait to get into this, because, I'll be honest, like, even though, obviously, now that... Nowadays, I'm not as, like, into Morinatsu when I was when I was, like, really young. But, like, it still kind of has that same nostalgia factor to it. You know, just kind of playing this, uh, this reimagining just kind of brings all the old memories back, kind of. And I'm just really excited to see what they do here with, uh, what Storm Singer did. So, I'm pretty excited, to be honest. Uh, honestly, right from the get-go, I really like this title screen. I kind of like how everything's on a movie reel, kind of like memories and all that of your old friends. It's just... Ah! <laughs> so good. Alright, so click to start. Let's do that. And I haven't seen this either. This is actually a really cool like menu screen. So, yeah, so demo 6.2. Similar to uh, how I did Santa Lucia. Uh, if there's a new update, I'll probably update it, you know, the next video or whatever. I do apologize if like certain things are, you know, a little different in previous videos. Cause I'll just update as I go, uh, and go from there. So, and also before we start, I should mention real quick about Santa Lucia. Uh, I think of the last episode of Santa Lucia, I did talk about the fact that I will be continuing uploading videos from that project. It's just now that I've hit kind of the end of the demo, I would prefer to wait like maybe like a uh, month or two with uh, a couple updates further before I jump right onto the next part because I don't know how long each uh, new demo is going to last after where I left off so I just want to make want to make sure also another person has uh, commented to me before asking if I could probably look into uh, making videos about doing the other characters roots so as you can tell like I uh, as you can tell there's like only one option out of like three on a lot of cases and it kind of definitely changes up what happens temporarily in that story since apparently we haven't gotten to the main root part yet so I'm actually kind of curious about that and I might consider that so in the future if you see like videos saying like Santa Lucia these options or something like that I might do something like that because it'd be kind of cool to see what the other options could lead to you know what kind of dialogue situations you're led to and in this project in particular this project's all about picking which character you want to like you know you're gonna you're gonna be you know kind of be with more or less that's kind of how Morinatsu works so how I'm going to uh, do this is I'm actually gonna do everybody's route. So this is gonna be actually a pretty long project, I'll admit. 
uh, since I want to do all uh, all the routes. Uh, we can go from there. So yeah, uh, sorry for all the stuttering. Let's actually start because I'm really excited for this project. It's been so long since I've played this. I, like I said, I played like demo two, and this is six point two, so it, there's probably a lot of changes that are gonna like or that are gonna be like totally new to me. So let's keep going. Anyways, it's July thirty first, and here we go. I slowly climb the stairs up to our house. The weight of the book bag on my shoulders is starting to make my arm go numb. Wow. I breathe out a sigh of relief as I reach the familiar doorway, reaching into my pockets. I give a faint smile while I pull, pull out my keys. Ugh, I can't wait to lay down after that. My mind goes over the events of my day so far. The doorknob turns, allowing me to enter the house I live in. <sighs> it's not an unwelcome sight, but I can't say I've felt like, like I belong here. I lay my book bag down next to the table and lay across the sofa. It's been five years since my family moved to Osaka. I cover my eyes to shield, to shield them from the bright light above. Sure, Dad may have landed an incredible job opportunity out here, but not a day goes by where I don't miss the life we used to have. City life is so... alienating. I've never been able to adjust to it. I don't think I've made a uh, single lasting friendship in all of my years here. And now I've got senior year just in front of me. Ugh... <sighs> The thought of it sends a shiver down my spine. I miss when life was so simple. I miss the old country roads I used to run down with my friends. With my friends. Oh! You made it home from the library, dear? Eh? Uh? I jolt up from the position I'm in. My mom stands smiling at me from the hallway. I yeah That's good. Did you finger finish all your homework? I let out a deep sigh. Yeah. What else am I gonna do with my time? It's not like I have any friends here. Guess I'll just waste yet another summer playing video games. Oh stop that. Have you have you even tried meeting people, honey? You have a whole city full of people you could talk to, and yet you are laying around doing nothing. Huh? Sweetie. Oh my gosh. See, I'm always going to have this issue where I accidentally press it. Sweetie, I love you, but you need to take better care of yourself. Take a look outside. The weather is nice. You should be out there having fun. I groan under my breath at her suggestion. It's summer vacation. All I feel like doing right now is laying down. There's deep concern in her voice as she speaks up again. I'm worried about you. I return to my position on the couch and cover my eyes with my arm again. Here, a letter arrived in the mail today for you. She plops the object on my chest and walks back down the hall. The handwriting looks familiar. Uh, I sigh yet again, remove my arm from my eyes so I can check out the letter. Yeesh, people still write these things? Without a second thought as to who it, is, who it could be from, I rip open the package and start examining the paper within. Huh? My eyes catch a glimpse of the name at the bottom. T Torahiko. Whoa. That's a blast from the past. I can't believe I'm receiving a letter from my old best friend. 
wonder what it says. The handwriting is kind of hard to read, and the grammar is choppy. Hey, how's it going? I'm the same as always. Everybody really wants to see you again. Why don't you come visit this summer? I'll be waiting. That feels like very like now that I think like I don't know why, but like that just suddenly gave me like Mary's letter, like Silent Hill 2 vibes for some reason. <laughs> At least that's what I think it says. You really should have written more. At least it's sincere. Looking at the package I ripped open, the return address tells me it's from my hometown, Minasato. That name brings back so many memories. Endless blue skies, the vast countryside, the sound of chirping insects, the murmuring of the streams, the trees rustling in the gentle breeze, and the faces of my friends as we played until sunset. It's been five long years since we moved away, and yet, these memories haven't faded. Sitting here with this letter, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with my, uh, sorry, I'm gonna repeat that. I know exactly what I'm gonna do with my summer. I'm going home. August 1st. God, I forgot how far away Minasato is. After reminiscing about home yesterday, I contacted my old friend. His phone number ha hasn't changed, and he sounded a little embarrassed to hear from me again. It took some effort, but I managed to convince my parents to let me visit for the rest of the uh, rest of summer vacation. Hey. I remember that gas station. Minasato should only be an hour away. Just a bit more. The window on the bus is cold to the touch. The scenery seemed to continue on forever. But I know I'm getting close now. Ugh, it's starting to get the shivers. Why doesn't this bus have any heating? I try lying to myself. But my body temperature tells a different story. It's been so long since I've been, been there. I can't help but feel nervous. I wonder how everyone is doing. I haven't talked to any of them since I moved. I was always terrible at maintaining friendships. <sighs> Last I heard, they were all going to the same high school the next town over. I'll admit, it never really crossed my mind to come back and visit. It's not like my life in Osaka is all that exciting. And yet... No. I should have visited them earlier. Visited them earlier. I'm just glad it's not too late and they haven't forgotten about me. I'm so excited to see everyone. I wonder what, what's happened since I left. Next stop, Minasato. Please press the t stop button if you are departing. I press the button in just a minute. No. A few seconds. I'll be there. The nervousness I felt earlier seems to have faded away. All I feel now is excitement. I'm a little embarrassed feeling this way, but I can't help it. Oh, hurry. Hurry! I can't wait any longer. finally arrived. <sighs> I take a deep breath. Just as I remembered. It feels so much better here than in the big city. The fresh air is positively delicious. It's not too late for me to be a country boy again, is it? I chuckle to myself under my breath while picking up my luggage. Now then, Grandma and Grandpa's house should be nearby. Hmm? The bushes over there seem to be rustling. I wonder what's. Go! Oh! Ah! Pfft. 
<laughs> Dude, your luggage is flying everywhere. Here, let me help you help you out. T Toriko? What? Did you forget what I looked like? I have to do a double take. I can't believe my eyes. No way. The Torahiko I knew was small and pudgy. You can't be him. <laughs> I started working out after junior high. Say hello to the new improved Torahiko Ushima. He's completely outgrown me. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with this. You said you were coming today, so I waited nearby. It, uh, took longer than I expected. So I decided to surprise you. My eyes widened at that. D did you really wait all that time just for me? <laughs> Don't put it that way. The only real way to get to Minasato is by bus, after all. Plus, the schedule is predictable. I'm glad to see your bus came on time today. <laughs> I rub behind my head. He's the same as ever. Always energetic Torihiko. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> it's been too long, bro! Get over here, you bastard! W w wait a minute, Torihiko, you're hurting me! Torihiko gives me a firm hug with his furry, striped arms. Back then, he had to jump, on, uh, jump up to hug me. He was so small and adorable. Now there's this tall, athletic Torhiko hugging me. I... This really hurts. I think I'm gonna pass out. But... <laughs> Tora, go easy on me! Things are a little different now. <laughs> Sorry, I... I'm just really glad to see you. I told everyone you were coming home today. We're having a welcoming party for you over at the Ry uh, Rymon. Rymon. Yeah. Wow, that old restaurant is still around? We used to eat there all the time when we were kids. Glad to see not everything has changed. You need to get over there. Everyone's looking forward to see you again. We, we went through a lot of trouble getting everything set up. While saying that, he puts me in a headlock and starts rubbing his fist into my head. Ow, ow, ow! Wait, stop! You're the one who sent me that letter in the first place. Uh, you came back faster than I expected. Uh, we had to scramble together to make things work. I'm glad you did, though. The fist rubs even uh, the fist rubs even harder into my scalp with, with that exclamation. Ow, Tori, go stop! Sorry, sorry. Ah. <sighs> Take a deep breath while gently rubbing the place where his fist was five minutes, uh, five seconds ago. Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm heading to the Ryman now. Which? Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. I keep doing this all the time. Why is that? Would you care to join me? So, so there really is a welcoming party for me, huh? You bet your scrawny fox ass, dude. <laughs> I'd love to go right now, but I glance down at the bags strewn across the ground. I need to drop off my luggage and say hi to my grandparents first. All right, makes sense. Well, you know where to find me. I'm not the kind to be late to a party, <laughs> especially one I'm organizing. While picking up one of my bags, my hand grazes across a familiar object. Oh, I almost forgot. I pull my cell phone out uh, up out of its pouch and turn it on. Torhiko, give me your cell phone number. Uh -uh. Sure. Um, I don't use mine much though. What? Huh? You're kidding, right? Why not? Dude, the village has terrible reception. Check it. No way. I look at my cell phone again. No bars. Great. Of course, Minasato has crappy, crappy signal. It's only 2017. <laughs> A lot of us have cell phones, but we never use them. The only thing they're useful for here is emergency calls. If you're patient. 
not even carry mine around anymore. What's the point of the damn things when the signal is terrible and the service is, is expensive? The internet isn't all, all it's cracked up to be either. Huh? So that's not a big deal here, Yuki. We can, we can, we can be that. Blah. We make do without it. I guess he's probably right. Everyone is close by. And if I need to call mom, I can always use grandma and grandpa's for real phone. <laughs> Dude, what's up with your face? Is that what a city boy looks like when cut off from the World Wide Web? Er you know what? Never mind me going to the uh, Rymon right. Uh, wait. Never mind me going to the Rymon right now. If you're looking so lost, I may have to escort you to your grandparents' house. I feel my cheeks flare up at Taurus teasing. I didn't think I was that dependent on technology. <laughs> Whatever. I guess we can drop off my luggage and head to the Rymon. Come on, bro, let's get going! Blah! Before I realize it's happening, I'm pulled into another headlock and dragged along uh, dragged along the road. A welcoming party, huh? I wonder who's gonna be there. My stomach flutters in excitement. I can't wait to find out. Reconnection. Or reconnect. Oh my gosh, I misread that too. Reconnect. Okay. The two of us walk along an old familiar road. Not much has changed in Minnesota since I've been gone. Everything still looks the way I remember it. Dirt roads leading to paved roads. Even the buildings are exactly the same. Hey, Tora, has anything interesting happened since I left? Has anything actually changed? Nah, you coming back this summer has been the most interesting thing in years. Really? So nothing's happened, not even anything small? Well, sure, a few small incidents here and there. Ah, uh, there's the Tora, a Tora I remember. Always the trickster cat. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Believe it or not, most of, most of them were uh, Konosuke's fault. Just don't look at me like that. Wow, there's a name I haven't heard in years. Poor Konosuke was always our third wheel when it came to crazy shenanigans. The three of us together were the absolute terrors of Minasato. <laughs> Side uh, slightly so Torihiko doesn't hear. Those were the days. I like to think I've grown up a bit since then. Then there was this thing called the Village Revitalization Project. Ooh, he's still talking? I kind of spaced out. The, no uh, the number of weird souvenirs for sale has increased, but that's not really anything newsworthy. How about you? Is there anything cool in Osaka? Konosuke has been kind of obsessed with seeing big cities since you moved away. Well, I knew this question would come eventually. It's alright, I guess. It's not as fancy as it seems when you're a part of it. Never mind how lonely it actually is. Hiroyuki! Do you recognize that house? Tora points a clawed finger at, at a small building in the distance. Hey, it's my grandparents' house! With a slight giggle, I start, uh, I start running toward it. <laughs> it hasn't changed one bit. Oh, 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 hey, wait up! Precious childhood memories flow through my mind as I quickly approach their house. This is so cool. It's almost as if everything stayed the same for five years waiting for me to return. <laughs> well, glad to see you're having fun. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I'm completely out of breath. He's standing there smiling at me with a smug grin. I really let myself go over the years, didn't I? 
You should head inside. I'm sure they're looking forward to seeing you. You're not coming in with me? <laughs> nah, I forgot I had something to do for my dad back home. I should do it before he decides to tear my head off. Uh, I see. Good luck, bro. <laughs> Screw you. He winks at me playfully. I'll see you at the welcoming party. We'll talk plenty more then. D don't be late. You got it? Yep, got it. See you later, Tora. <laughs> when we were younger, we used to say goodbye like this all the time. Nothing has changed. Except Torihiko's figure. Hello? Small head pops, uh, pops out around the corner from the kitchen. Hiroyuki, is that you? Oh, it's so it's good to see you. Hi, Grandma. Dear! Our grandson is here! I have to cover my ears from the shrill sound of Grandma's yell. I forgot how loud it is. I can see Grandpa's ears per uh, perk up as he sits watching television in the living room. Ah! Can you speak up? You know I can't hear well anymore. His eyes instantly lock with mine when he turns his head to investigate the yelling. Hiroyuki? I knew you were coming today, but I didn't expect it to be so soon. <laughs> Grandma, Grandpa, it's been too long. Thank you for letting me stay the month. I bow graciously to them while speaking loud enough for Grandpa to hear. I hardly had time to prepare. I'm so sorry for dropping this on you so suddenly. It was sort of on a whim. Grandpa gets up from the sofa and starts walking into the hall to greet me. No, no. There's no need to apologize. You are always welcome here, so please, make yourself at home. Here, let, let me show you to your room. This one used to be your father's. Oh, I'm going to get Dad's old room? That's awesome. I know it's old and not very luxu uh, luxurious, but there's still a TV and a fan in here. Your bed is in the closet. You can set it up whenever you like. Thanks, Grandma. If you need to use the phone, it's by the front door. Got it. I need to get going soon, though. I just found out my friends are throwing me a welcoming party at the Ryman. Is that so? That's great to hear. Yeah, I'm probably going to have dinner there tonight, so don't worry about preparing anything for me. Oh, that's a shame. I was going to cook something special for you. But I suppose I can wait another night. She looks uh, slightly de uh, dejected as she leaves me alone in the room to get settled in. <sighs> Sorry, Grandma. I start unpacking some of my luggage. I need to head to the restaurant soon. But I'd rather not make it look like I'm using my grandparents for temporary living space. <laughs> I stop my tracks. Um, my face uh, flushes. Uh, my face flushes red. I, I guess I kind of am still using them, aren't I? I love my grandparents. I just. <sighs> I guess that explains why my grandma left me here the way she did. I'm gonna have to make it up to them later. I'm sure that means a lot of chores. I turn my attention back to my luggage. I set the bag down on the nearby desk and start pushing my clothes into the dresser. Ah. My hands fumble to catch my cell phone as it slips out of the bag. The thing has, has the nerve to turn on as my finger touches the screen, reminding me of the signal quality in Minasato. What a little crap. I'm tempted to throw it back in the bag, but another thought crosses my mind. Wait, why don't I take it with me? I should see if I can get a group photo with it while everyone's everyone's together tonight. I smiled to myself while shoving the thing into my pocket. There we go, Hiroyuki. Now you're using your brain. <laughs> Such a genius.
Basha! I just try to pose uh, straight out of my favorite manga. I hope nobody saw that. Uh, anyway. With my, clothes, with my clothes put away in the dresser, I start wandering around the room and examining my living space for the next month. I reach into the closet to pull out the bed stuff, then notice an old fan sitting on, sitting on the floor inside. Huh. Grandma did say there was a fan in here. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's quite hot today. I drop the bedding on the floor. I'll set that up later. Instead, I'll reach into the closet again and pull out the fan. Hmm. Where's the closest power outlet? Ah, there we go. Right next to the desk. With a smile, I arrange the fan on the table so it's facing where I plan to sleep. Plug it in and press the on button. Crap. Of course it's not working. I mean, it looks pretty old. It's probably as old as my dad or something. Plus, it doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. I doubt we have a spare anywhere, though. Hey, Gr- I'm about to ask out loud if I could trade fans with my grandparents, but I catch myself, remembering what happened earlier. I can't do that to them. They're already letting me stay here for free. What kind of freeloading grandson would that make me? No. I'm just going to have to deal, uh, deal with this. I can handle it. Ah, turn on, damn it. It's no use. This is going to be a long summer. Defeated, I comb my hair back with my fingers, then walk back into the hall, satisfied with the way I've prepared my new room. Well, satisfied enough. I gently close the door behind me, then call out to my grandparents. Grandma! Grandpa! I'm heading out. I'll be back later tonight. I hear a, a voice yell out to me from the kitchen. Have a good time, dear. As I turn the corner onto Minasato's main street, I'm met with a wave of familiar sights. Whoa. The shops, the atmosphere, even the constant echo of chant uh, chattering villagers Bringing, uh, brings back so many memories. It's like I stepped right into a time capsule containing my childhood. I'm sure if I was, if I were able to see my face right now, I'd have the biggest grin on it. I want to stick around and explore some more, but I don't exactly have time to do so. Now, where was the Ryaman again? I've got somewhere I need to be. Images of the restaurant flow through my mind. It never was the fanciest place around, but it had that old-fashioned charm. As far as I remember, it's the only restaurant in Minasato, though that could have changed over the years. <laughs> it wasn't always a restaurant either. When I was an elementary school student, it was actually a bar. Around the time I entered middle school, the old man who runs the place installed a, sm uh, a small stove to cook meat for his customers. The rest, as they say, is history. Ah! Red paper lanterns. That's definitely the Ryman. I remember. I walk into the restaurant. The smell of cooked seasoned meat instantly enters, enters my lungs. Ah! Come in, come in. Welcome to my humble restaurant. Oh, h hello. I give a polite bow as I walk deeper inside. Glancing around, I notice it's kind of empty in here. Where are all the peop people? It's so close to dinner. The old horse winks at me and starts talking again. Ah, you must be that fox boy I I'm keeping a lookout for. You're the guest of honor. What? I can't hide the surprise on my face. Yeah, the kids who's visiting his friends for the summer, right? The lot of you are renting my, my place for the night. He points to the corner of the restaurant I haven't checked yet. 
I think a few of you are back there already. Really? Who? I can't contain my excitement. It's been five years since I've seen my friends. With a grin so wide you'd think I was insane, I run towards the back of the restaurant. Whoa there, watch your step, boy! As I approach, two heads look up from, the t from a table in the corner. Oh, no way. It's Shin and Koya. Well, well. <laughs> look who it is. Long time no see here, Yuki. I'm taken aback by Koya's appearance. He's certainly grown up a lot since I last saw him. It's good to see you again here, Yuki. We should have tried harder to stay in touch. Shin looks mostly the way I remember him, though he's much taller now. We still have phones here, you know. But I suppose if coming all the way out to Minasato is easier for you. Oof. Shin's uh, sharp tongue hasn't changed, but that's how he's always been. He always speaks with on his mind. He was never one to mince, mince words. You know exactly where you stand at all times when it comes to Shin. I smile at, at the two of them as I pull out a nearby seat and drag it, drag it to their table. Oh, it's great to see you two again. How are things going? Pretty well. Save the whole sudden, uh, sudden restaurant rental thing. Uh, save for the whole sudden rental, uh, restaurant rental thing we're, we're doing. Yeah. Can't say things right today. Oof. I cringe even harder when Shin starts speaking up. It certainly came as a surprise when Torihiko told us you were coming. I can't believe we managed to get this much done on short notice. Sorry. Ah, don't be. It's our way of showing we care about you. So how long have you two been here? Shin glances across the table at Koya, which makes him shuffle uncomfortably in his chair. Usually I'm the first one to show up to things like this, but somehow Koya managed to beat me today. Really? I look at Koya. He fidgets even more in his seat. With a smile, I lean closer towards him. And how long is that exactly? Uh, two hours. Two hours?! Ugh. Hey guys, no need to start fighting. What? I'm startled when two tiger hands tightly grip my shoulders from behind. Tora, where have you been? I thought you were supposed to beat me here. <laughs> I got a little distracted on my way. But hey, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Renting the place out for, for the night sounds kind of expensive. I didn't bring a lot of money with me. <laughs> Don't worry about it, bro. We pulled together enough money to cover it. Making you pay uh, making you pay would be super rude. Besides, you shouldn't have to worry about money at all tonight. Isn't that right, Pops? Torihiko brings his hands up to his mouth and yells towards the front, the front of the restaurant. Hey, no yelling in my restaurant! The old horse uh, walks around the corner with a scowl on his face. That's right, uh, that's right. By request of the carpenter's son, anything you order tonight is to be put on his tab. What? I talked to Toxiki about this. We're supposed to be splitting the bill evenly between all of us. I'm sorry. I feel like I pit. I can. I feel like I have to pitch, uh, pitch in a bit. I rub back my head in embarrassment. It's not fair. You guys are going through all this trouble for me. I'm starting to feel bad about this. Uh, d don't apologize here, Yuki. There's a momentary pause before he speaks again. <laughs> We're glad to do this, right, guys? Nah, it's just you. And what's that supposed to mean? You heard me, Tiger Boy. Oh boy, here we go. You can never have Torihiko and Koya in the same room together for, for very long without them starting a fight. I hear the sound of running footsteps enter the restaurant. Woof! Hiro, I can't believe it's actually you! Shun. I 
get I get up from my sorry I get up from my seat and walk into the entrance, leaving the two uh, two to fight while Shin buries his face in, in his palm. It's great to see you again. <laughs> the moment I'm close enough, I wrap my arms around my old friend and start ruff, uh, ruffling his hair. Long time no see, little buddy. Have you been a good boy while I was gone? Uh, hey, I'm not kidding anymore. I turned 18 last month. I let him go with a chuckle. Shun was always the youngest in our circle of friends. Gah, stop laughing at me! I can still kick your butt at video games, you know. I playfully hold my fist out towards him. Oh my gosh, I always do this. We used to have a good rivalry going, going back then. Sorry. <laughs> Fat chance. I'll have you know I've practiced a ton while I was gone. You need to come over to my house sometime this summer, hero. I can't wait to show you all the games I've collected. You bet. It'll be like old times, huh, kiddo? D don't call me that anymore. I'm almost an adult. I'm, te I'm just teasing you, Shun. I know you're grown up. You're a lot taller now, and... I poke at the th uh, thing hanging over his eyes. It looks like we got glasses now, too. I give him a wink and, thumbs and, and a thumbs up. Very mature looking. I approve. I hate these things. I can't see, uh, see without them anymore. It's probably because you play video games all the time, dude. Gah, so do you. I wag a finger in front. Uh, I wag my finger in front of me, and playfully taunt him. Sure, but I'm not the one that made it his mission in life to be the best gamer in Japan. Fun, yeah. So I, I I don't know. I think it's supposed to be pronounced Funyu. Sorry. Why am I the one cursed with bad eyes? It's not fair. <laughs> Still makes those adorable noises like he did when he was a kid. I think for a moment. But I don't really have the heart to tease him about it. I might break him. <sighs> Cheer up, man. Have, what have you been up to for the last five years? Changing the topic seems to cheer him up fast. He was always pretty quick to change moods. Quite a lot, actually. The two of us start walking together deeper into the restaurant. I've won several video game tournaments since you left, and I'm about to start uh, taking a bigger role in my family's tradition. Ah, uh, that's right. Shun is the member of the Kidori clan. They're one of the oldest families in Minasato. I believe they run all the religious ceremonies up all at the shrine. Congratulations, man. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks, Hiro. I've also been hanging out a lot with Tatsuki and Koya. Oh, really? I suppose I could see Tatsuki doing that, but Koya? I figured someone like Shun would cramp his style. Yeah, here, Yuki. Yeah, here, Yuki. When Tatsuki isn't busy with with work, he likes to drive Shun to the video game store in Kazunari. Ah, good. Looks like Torihiko and Koei have stopped fighting. Shun has buried his face behind a book in the meantime. Koei and I like to hang out at the arcade or the river when he has free time. <laughs> yep. Shun and Koei have a special relationship going on, if you know what I mean. Shut up, Tora. Hey, that's not how it. Uh, that's not how it is, and you know it. We just have a lot in common. He's been teaching me how to play the guitar too. I'm not ashamed of the time we we spend together. Shun, Shun, do you do you even know what you're saying? Of course I do. We're best friends, aren't we? Koya is the bestest big brother. Chair Taurus sitting in falls over and slams, and slams the door, uh, fl that slams the floor as he starts operating around the restaurant. Goyo Nichan! Shin's palm gingerly rubs against his forehead. Can someone shut that moron up? 
Uh, Tara, you might be overdoing it. He ignores me, continuing his odd strut into the entryway. Go, you need go. With a sharp, mer uh, merciless thrust of a large arm, Tora is drilled to the ground by an imp uh, imposing figure. <sighs> that was very impolite. <clears throat> oh man, I am like, my voice is cracking when I try to do a deep voice. I'm so sorry. That was very impolite of you, Tora. I know that deep voice anywhere. I look over and see my old friend Juichi standing over Torihiko's uh, writhing body. Behind him, Kyoji walks in and shakes his head. Uh, was that really necessary, big guy? No. I guess not. I walk into the entryway again to greet the new arrivals. Shuichi and Ky uh, Kyoji! How are you guys? It's been too long. Oh, Hiroyuki. I didn't expect you to be here so early. It's good to see you. Uh, I knew we were going to be late. We had judo and soccer practice today. I'm sure Hiroyuki understands Juichi. Yeah, it's not your fault. I came back so suddenly. I really appreciate you guys throwing me this party. You're welcome. Honestly, it was Torihiko who did most of the work. He rubs under his chin before saying the next part. We're just following his lead. <laughs> you can say that again. I'm heading back to my seat. With a flick of his tail, Tora runs runs around and storms off. Turns around and storms off. I'm done. Uh, sorry. I chuckle under my breath. What a silly tiger. When I turn my attention back to the two in front of me, I realize something is missing. Hey, shouldn't there be three of you? Juichi, where's your brother? Bah! Kenji and, a, uh, Kenji and a couple of his friends decided to take a road trip across Japan for the summer. Must be nice having nothing better to do with your time. Honestly, I can relate. Though, with the way Juichi's acting, it might not be the best thing to admit. Oh, well that's too bad. I'm not gonna be in the, uh, be the same without him. It's not gonna be the same without him. Hmm. He shrugs his shoulders before walking towards uh, everyone else. Jeez. You'd almost think I hit a soft spot freeing Kenji up. Oh, sorry I'm late, senpai. My mom my mom had to find a place to park. Kyoji claps his hands together and smiles. Ah, excellent timing. Here, Yuki, there's someone I'd like to introduce to you. Uh, you two, yeah. Huh? Pleased to meet my junior in the soccer club, Satoru. Uh, huh? He seems caught off guard by Kyoji's sudden introduction. Before I uh, realize what's happening, the young lion gives me a long bow. Hello, I'm Sitaru uh, Tono, a third year uh, student at Kazunari High. Oops. How do you do? Oh, I didn't expect that kind of accent. I wonder where he's from. I respond in kind and polite, uh, politely bow. I'm Hiroyuki uh, Nishimura. Nice to meet you, Sitaru. I've heard a lot about you from Mr. Takahara. Pleased to meet you. I doubt Kyoji expected to be called by his last name so soon. I'm glad to see he's, he's still making and taking soccer so seriously. He's even got a junior now. I told Taro an old friend of mine was coming to visit, and he asked if he could tag along. He was very curious to find out what the uh, 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 illustrious Hiroyuki Nishimura, Nishimura is like. Yeah, my cheeks flare up. It's not very often that Kyoji teases someone, but... I suppose it's a special occasion. The 
two of them walk towards the back uh, with everyone else, leaving me here and embarrassed. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, I like burped the video. Anyways. Hey, wait up. Yo, hero! Wah! 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 I'm sorry, I, I don't know how to do that without, like... I don't know how to, like, do that properly. I'm sorry. A loud voice booms as its owner walks through the front door. Tatsuki? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Look at you. You haven't grown one bit. <laughs> You've been eating proper, right? <laughs> With his trademark smile, he quickly approaches me, footsteps echoing throughout the restaurant. Uh, hey, what's the big deal? Tatsuki proceeds to hug me and lift me into the air. Sorry! I'm just so happy to see you again! He gently places me back on the floor, then backs away. I'm jealous! H how'd you manage to stay the same size? I find myself staring up at the giant dragon man in front of me. Tatsuki was never a small guy, but... This is kind of ridiculous. But maybe it's just you getting bigger? <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. I'm over two meters tall now. Oh, you're sure... You're sure you're not actually shrinking, right? I laugh at the big blood's insistence. <laughs> I assure you, I'm growing up too, Tatsuki. Good, good. I don't want... Oh my gosh, I keep making this mistake. Ah! Hope you guys don't hate me for this. Good, good. I don't want you shriveling up or looking like Shin, you hear? I make a motion with my arm, crossing it over my chest before bowing. You have my word, sir. <laughs> yeah. Tatsuki, you lazy bastard. You're so slow. I was getting tired of waiting for you. My bad. I tried getting here as soon as possible, but I couldn't get away from work. You have a job now, Tatsuki? Yeah, after graduating high school, I became my father's apprentice. Ah, that makes sense. Tatsuki always wanted to follow in his father's footsteps and become a carpenter. Congratulations, man. It must be fun getting to work alongside your dad. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Did you really just say that, Hiroyuki? Mr. Mi uh, Midori... Midoriya, yeah. Mr. Midoriya is an absolute beast. Don't you remember? Oh, yeah. Images of Tats uh, Tatsuki's chronically angry father passes through my mind. I'm so sorry, Tatsuki. Hey, it's not that bad. It's it's uh. Okay, it's pretty bad. But at least I'm making good money now. Oh, that reminds me. I almost forgot. Tatsuki, thank you for paying for my meal tonight. You're welcome. Make sure you eat a lot tonight. Don't be picky. Y yes, sir. That's the intensity I remember. Good old Tatsuki. Maybe if you eat enough, you'll put on some weight. Stop looking at me like that. Seriously. I work out at the gym. I hold my arms up in the strongest pose I can muster. Hey, yeah! Check out these muscles. <laughs> nice try, Hiroyuki. You're not fooling anyone with those noodles. I want you. I want you to. I'm oh, sorry. I want you to eat enough meat for the both of us. I'm gonna stick to veggies and fish tonight. Oh, so you're saying you're not eating the entire buffet this time. I'm not fat. I'm not fat, damn it. When dragons get older, their bellies start to show more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before, coming from you. It doesn't help that you guzzle down sake like there's no tomorrow. W what? 
Seriously, Hiroyuki. Datsuki has become such an alcoholic. Torahiko shakes his head while looking in, in my direction. I... I only drink special occasions. You can't get fat from sake. Uh-huh. Keep telling yourself that, big guy. Hiroyuki, come feel his belly. Poke, poke. Torahiko grabs my wrist and guides it to to uh, Tatsuki's stomach. Hey, wait a sec. Stop poking me. I break free from Tora's grasp and distance myself from the giant dragon. Sorry. Anyway, it's almost dinner. Has anyone ma has everyone made it? Torhiko lets, lets out a uh, long groan. It says everything that needs to be said. Konosuke is not here yet, is he? Nope. Of course not. Of course he'd be late today. I hope you weren't expecting him to show up early, Tora. He told him exactly when to be here, and he still can't show up on time. I was hoping he'd be here for this. Uh, Mr. Takahara says all that uh, Mr. Curry talks about is the big city. Curry, I mean, that's what it's pronounced. You think he'd uh, you think he'd be here to greet his friend coming to visit him from there? I mean, it's not really out of character for him to do this. He's only half an uh, half an hour late. It's not that bad yet. Last month, when we had Shun's birthday party, Konosuke showed up right as we were going home for the night. Uh, there's no way. He could have forgotten about this. I hope. Ah! We all turn in unison towards the front of towards the front door when we hear a cry coming from down the street. I I'm here! I, I made it! <sighs> oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Konosuke comes running in. Right on cue. Konosuke! With a smile, I run up and hug my childhood friend. Hero! So glad to see you again. <laughs> After I let him go, he rubs behind his head. I see everyone got here early again. We're not. We're not. Oh, sorry. We're not early, Konosuke. You're just super late. Like always. Looking behind me, I see everyone's glare in Konosuke's direction. <laughs> the click of his tongue, Konosuke's entire demeanor changes. It's no big deal, right, hero? Everyone else is here, so I'd say it's as good a time as any to show up. I laugh under my breath at the way he's trying to save himself. Nah, you're late, dude. Ah! A collective groan echoes throughout the restaurant. Well, at least you're here now, right? Yeah. Great! Now the party can finally get started. Pops, better get those grills revved up. I'm starving. <laughs> the jolly green giant stomps off towards the rest of the group. I look back and see Konosuke still feeling embarrassed about the situation. Hey, it's no big deal. Like Tatsuki said, you're here now. I hold up my thumb and give him a wink, like he always does. Let's enjoy the party. He's, he seems to uh, he seems to perk up a bit with my encouragement. <laughs> Okay. Konosuke and I follow behind Tatsuki and take a seat together near the rest of the group. Looks like everyone else is deep in conversation. I take the opportunity to catch up with one of my old best friends. So, how's life in Minasato been treating you these past five years? Oh, you know. 
just working with my dad at the repair shop. Same old, same old. That's, oh, that's right. Konosuke's dad is the local repairman. Whenever anything breaks from televisions to lawnmowers, Mr. Kuri is the, the guy to see. Oh, that sounds like fun. Uh, I guess. I hear the awkward shuffling of feet beneath the table. So, nothing that that big happening. So nothing that big happening? My brother's just about to enter middle school. With a big smile, he seems to dodge the question. Almost as if he prefers to talk about anything but himself at the moment. Oh, that's great. I haven't seen uh, Yukiharu and, since I left. I'm sure he's quite big now, isn't he? Mm-hmm. How about you? I'm dying to know what, what it's like in Osaka. I've got so many questions I want to ask. I should have been I should have been better prepared for this. There's only one thing I know about Konosuke, it's that when he's interested in a topic, he'll interrogate you until he's satisfied. What's it like in Osaka? I've heard it's amazing. Anything cool happen? Anything weird? I wanna hear everything! Uh can I come and visit sometime? Of course, I'll expect a grand tour. I'm so excited you're back, hero. <laughs> Give me some time to process this, man. Kyoji mm -hmm. leans over the, uh, the side of his chair to chime in on our conversation. I know you're excited, Konosuke, but you should give Hiroyuki some time to relax. You have plenty of time to ask questions. He's here the, the, the whole summer, after all. You know, I could never tell with Kyoji's eyes. Uh, oh! I'm pretty sure he winked at us. D don't worry about it. I'll tell you once I stop feeling so shell-shocked. I rub behind my head and laugh gently. Thanks, Hiro. When you get the chance, I'd like to hear more about so Osaka. You've got it, Konosuke. <laughs> He's still living life at his own p pace, just like when we were kids. His eyes seem to trail off. I think he's daydreaming like he usually does. I'd, lo I'd love to live in a big city someday. I love talking to my friend, but sometimes he can be a bit overwhelming. I laugh in my head as, I'm, as I think about charging him uh, one of the... One of those new Minasato souvenirs for stories from for stories from Osaka. Whoops. Behind us, Kyoji stands up from a seat and claps his hands together. Excellent! Now that everyone is here and we've uh, mingled for a bit, I think it's time to start ordering food. Finally. <laughs> Quite the reaction, Taro. Don't uh, tell me you only came for the food. That's not what I meant, senpai. Jeez, get a room, you two. Huh? Uh, don't take him. T don't take him too seriously, Tono. He's just teasing you. Come on, bring out the menus. Can we get some service here, pops? I want non-stop drinks. Of course you do. You're a Mid Midoriya. That's all you folks ever ask for. Is that, is that a challenge, old man? Bah! Give it to me straight from the barrel! Now, I'm not usually the one to stand in the way of a dragon in his sake. A look of contempt crosses o over Shin's face. But the rest of us are underage. I would appreciate it if you kept the party alcohol free. But, yeah. Even if we want to break it, break the law and drink, Tatsuki would would down uh would down most of it before it even reaches us. Hold on a sec. Why is Tatsuki able to drink? Isn't he too young for it? Tatsuki started drinking a lot after his birthday this year. Oh wait. Shun's face is buried in a handheld gaming device. That was always something he'd do when topics got serious. Tatsuki turned 20 in January, so he's able to drink as much alcohol as he wants now. We try to not get in his way. 
Though, that doesn't mean we shouldn't keep an eye on him. He's been known to overdo it. Konosuke leans back in his chair and gives a nonchalant answer. Meh. It looks like he's already got a few in his system. <laughs> you're, not, you're not gonna listen to us, are you, big guy? Stop, stop ganging up on me. Get a man drink in peace. Sit down already. Tatsuki seems oddly defensive about this. I wonder if there's more to it than he's letting on. Ugh, whatever you say, man. Toro rejoins the rest of us at the tables. After taking a seat, he gestures at me. Hiroyuki, come sit with me. I want to talk with you some more. Can't you see he's busy, Tor uh, Torohiko? It's not like he's obliged to sit with you. Let him make his own decisions, damn it. Why, you little... Uh... I I'm not used to people fighting over me. At school, I'm able to sit alone without being bothered. Hey, I want in on this, too. Rah! This is getting out of hand. I have to go to the bathroom. What's that? <laughs> nice save, hero. I get up from my seat and start making my way towards the front of the restaurant. To safety. Enough arguing. I'll be the one sitting next to Tora. Uh, uh, no thanks. It's not up for discussion. <laughs> at least, uh, at least someone wants to sit with you. Uh, uh, right, Torahiko? Excuse me. I'll be right back, everyone. Take your time, hero. I'm sure this mess will be solved by the time you're done. Right. I'm gonna click. <laughs> I can't do that, like, properly. I'm so sorry, guys. I know, I'm, like, terrible at voice acting. Bye. This <laughs> is... Weren't you taught to take care of bathroom matters before you went out, Hiroyuki? Hiroyuki? Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. I shoot him a mean glare. I'm not in the mood for his teasing right now. <sighs> Move it, Shen. Uh, oh. I didn't mean to... I press on. Usually I can handle stress, but this is a little too much. It's only been a few hours, but I feel like I've been here the whole day. <sighs> I just need to wash my face. Maybe that'll calm down the nerves. I'll admit, I miss this type kind of atmosphere. Was every day like this? Uh, was every day like this back then? For some reason, I don't remember it being this crazy. Still, it's nice to know I wasn't forgotten. I haven't felt this welcomed in years. I turned off the faucet, then looked at myself in the mirror. I wasn't aware of it until I looked, but a massive, genuine smile is painted across my face. I'm home. Alright guys, and this is where I'm going to leave it off here. I am so excited to see where this goes. Like I said, I've already kind of went through this section before in an earlier build, but it's just nice seeing all like the new the, the new character designs, just seeing like the different you know just small little like aesthetic details throughout, and some of the lines changes and stuff like that. It's just very interesting. And next time we're going to just continue the welcoming party, and just finish up day one and go from there. So until then, guys. This is Farleen, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.